Okay guys, welcome back. So we are back to product testing. Yes. A little late to the game with this one. Um, Fair. The, the Honma gear has been out for the majority of the year. So we've, uh, we've had the products in the drawer now for a little while. We actually just got the woods in uh, last week. Yep. Um, so we're keen to test it. Obviously Rosie uh, has been the poster boy for the, uh, the resurgence of, of the Honma brand, yep. especially on the, into the, the sort of general market. Yeah, there's, I think Hama, if you were aware of it, was kind of synonymous with like a luxury yeah. kind of um, brand that most people wouldn't have even considered sure. being a, a crazy price point, but these are right on mm -hmm. kind of the $600 US number that's kind of become standard. Yeah. Not that that's cheap by any means, but that is what most companies are doing. That's right. Um, so this being the driver, this is the 460 version yep. that, two, that two Rosie uses. Heads. I think it's the most relevant one for us to test it. Most people aren't going to look for a four, this is like a tour style yeah. 455. Very compact, very, very deep. small. Looks like a big fairway would yeah. The other part of this is uh, that because of the unique kind of mechanism uh, that's, that's kind of binding the shaft, you, you, we, we don't have the option to, uh, to try any other shafts in these. So we yeah. are going to try the Honma made for Vizard shaft in there. Which normally we might sort of be a bit concerned about mm -hmm. d based on what that shaft is. But it sounds like Rosie used one at least kind of similar to this. So we, yeah. can, we can kind of guess that it's something he would probably play. Um, so I think it'll be a decent mm -hmm. comparison. Now, obviously, we prefer to go shaft for shaft when we compare, but sure. it is what it is. Um, quickly on this, I think what's cool about that adapter is that you don't yeah. rotate the shaft, as mm -hmm. you said. So yeah. if you've had it um, period, yep. it won't change. I'm also thinking, like, just for the grip. grip orientation. Because I've been kind of yep. messing around with mine a bit, yep. and I've played a couple rounds where my grip is sideways and yep. my grip is upside wow. down. And or it, if you're playing the, uh, the New Decade Align, that's or, and then or you, one then of the Golf Rider lines, yeah. um, so that becomes uh, yeah a big issue. So, yeah. so when we were kind of just warming up and just getting ready for the video, we hit a few with it. We realised the ball speed was a little bit less than we're used to. Right. As we've kind of you know found out, the biggest influence on that for you or for most people appears to be head weight. Yeah. Uh, it was very light, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just under 190 It was grams. 188 grams, so we actually took, you'll see normally the orange screw uh, and the silver screw, so we actually had to take one of the oranges out and pop in uh, two silver screws and, and get the head weight up to about 196, so it's more comparable now. Um, why don't we warm up with this, Yeah. get some, get bass some lines, baselines, and then we'll go from there. I like it. Cool. That's looked well hit. That's good. Lovely. All right, usual, uh, usual stuff with the, the ping, nothing. Nothing new? No surprises. Nope. Which is nice. Which is good. This is um, very classic looking, this. Yeah, one of the things that I think is fairly unique about the Honma driver is the carbon crown that you don't see as a carbon crown. Okay. Most other companies, whether you are Callaway, TaylorMade will try to highlight the fact it's a carbon crown with some kind of, uh, you know, some kind of gloss just over the actual carbon yeah, itself. Yeah, so you can still see it. That sort of thing, but um, they'll expose it, but they've done the opposite. I think it, it, it's on brand for them. I think yeah. they're trying to be a little more traditional. I mean, it's a very good looking head. It doesn't look super forgiving, no. but um, I would imagine the person that wants super forgiving may not be going down this path anyway. I kind of find a lot of the, the Japanese market Smaller clubs stuff. look a bit like that yeah uh, maybe it's just something that oh they always look like they're sitting really toe up and um, certainly the players models like that 455 mm. is very round and very compact like a little cannonball it must be a re I mean that must just be what the market is looking for I mm -hmm. guess in terms of looks all right Let's so give it a shot. 175 uh, ball speed is your average okay so let's see, if see it keeps uh, up. Let's, let's see how it stacks up Lovely. Really nice opener. Flat. Low, low spinner. It's a little high in the face. I 
I say it does not sound at all the way I would have expected. Uh, sound better? No, kind of louder. Louder and sort of more hollow sounding. Okay. Are, you, are you catching that or no? Yeah, yeah. I, I would imagine the, the other one um, is a little bit different in sound. More compact head. Yeah. The, the, volume, the volume of the head obviously it plays a big part in the sound, so the, the distance that, that it can travel obviously to, to ping off the walls okay. is, is where the vibration comes from and um, that's a big part in it. I think it's a quieter epic flash sound, that's what it's reminding me okay. of. It's got sort of that sort of... You think it sounds loud like, like a flash? I'm not catching that. No way? Not, not like that. It's certainly not as loud. I think it's this, the, the, the actual like, mm. sound itself sounds like that kind of mm. aluminum bat kind of sound. Seems to turn a little bit, but I don't think that's the end of the world. I know we could open it up a bit if we needed to. It's definitely a more upright driver though, isn't it? Yeah. Even on flat. Yeah, very, very upright. On honestly, let it be. I mean, the ball wants to go a little right, it wants to go the right, ball, I, I mean, it's not like you're missing these, like you're hammering these. Mm -hmm. Like, the second one went 350, the ball speed was, was solid on it. Yeah, fair enough. Um, the amount of face closure that we're seeing is, is the main culprit why we're spinning it so low. Yep. That's a good one. Better one. Let's try to hang Still on. lots of curve, though, eh? Yeah, like it, it definitely wants to shape right from that lie angle. Mm -hmm. That's no doubt about it. I, I don't know if, if you're somebody who hits a draw, I've, unless you really need help hitting a draw, I don't know that this would be your, your number one. i tell you what though, that weight uh, going into the head's a game changer. Is it ever? It's quick, isn't it? Let's move it back. I want to take that weight away sure. and, and see how much of a game changer that is. Yeah, good, good idea. really hit well. It's a nice one. I actually think I hit that like as hard as I could almost. <laughs> kind of felt like it's one that would be... Uh, no, you know, it's not short? No, it's not short. That felt like one that should be 178, 179. Like I kind of hammered mm -hmm. it. So you probably give up a couple miles an hour by having it... That's a lot of weight, like 8-9 grams over the course it's of that. Is, it's yeah. quite a lot, right? Hit a couple more. That was a good one. Just tons of shape. Yeah, it's a, you need to play a lot of shape on this for sure. Mm. I mean, my path is about four in out, which isn't, shouldn't produce a crazy amount of shape. Okay, pretty good performance. Fast, very fast. Pretty quick. I mean, if you're keeping up with the ping, you're quick. Yeah, it's, it's um, the benchmark really at the top has been that, and yeah. you know, the Cobra's up there as well, a couple others, but yeah. it's not slow by any means. Mm -hmm. It is upright though. No question it's upright. Well. When it's double the dynamic lie angle um, yeah. of, of the ping, yeah, we, we know we're... And that's on we flat. Yeah, that, that's on, on flat, flat setting. setting. So yeah. standard setting would probably be, it might have been 10 degrees mm. up. Very interesting. I mean, you know, looking at the spec sheets and the, the driver as standard comes a little bit, uh, a little bit more upright, two and a half degrees. So yep. this comes at 59 and a half, this comes at 57. This is longer. That that plays into the equation. Uh, oh, as I, didn't well. even, I didn't even notice. Um, so it's um, yeah. If, I mean, if you're looking to eliminate a little bit of the in your case, the left side, or yeah. if you're a right-handed golfer, if you're trying to kind of cut away a little bit of a fade or a slice, it looks like it could do a pretty good job of that for you. I think it does it in a way that's probably more appealing to someone's eye because it sits very square. Yeah. It looks very traditional, mm -hmm. but the lie angle just makes your ball not fade like it wants yeah. to draw so it's kind of like a sneaky draw bias driver it really is and especially if you can be fast with low spin mm. and very anti-fade yes I mean, that, that could tick a lot of boxes for a lot of people and i'm i think i'm correct in saying you find a lot of people that slice will use this part of the yeah. face a lot yeah. so i hit a couple low and heel mm -hmm. and the spin rate barely ever got over 2000 yeah. it was like 2100 was probably one of my highest spinning shots 
So this could be, it could be kind of, I don't know that that's what they wanted. I know. Or not, but I mean, for your purposes, it's, it's the reason you mm -hmm. have all this stuff is because at least there is many people that mm -hmm. this suits. It's not for everybody, but yeah. no driver really is. I know. I think that's the, that's the beauty of these things, you know, whether it was intended to be that way or not, you've got what you've got. It is, yeah. It just <laughs> so uh, yeah. that's, that's what we're, we're looking at. So um, we moved the weights around a little bit. We mm. went, we, you know, we started with the, the comparable weight like we talked about at the start of the video. Then we went back to the light one and we, we did see some ball speed drop off. We saw some additional face rotation. Um, so those, again, are additional things that people could add in there if, if, if you're not quite uh, able to eliminate as much shape um, and the fade side as you wanted. I also think that the, the lighter headlight changed my strike pattern quite mm -hmm. a bit. Um, the heavier head weight, I think I was somewhat centered. I mean, not, not perfect, yeah. but more in here. And as the, the weight came off, I kind of got in this section mm -hmm. bit, which could be good if someone's healing it and hitting it low, yeah. help them move it up uh, you know, towards the toe section and get those low spinners. It could be good. Yeah, no, it's interesting. So obviously you're dealing with different components. That's, mm -hmm. that's part of it. I mean, um, you know, is the shaft maybe a little bit on the mm -hmm. soft side for you? At 4.3 degrees of torque, uh, it probably oh, that is. Much? Yeah. Gotcha. So you, the Ventus uh, Black 6X is 3.1. Mm. Uh, so that's, that's quite a quite a difference. No question. Um, yeah. I, I think the good part is we can measure. We know what we can measure in terms of what the head effect was, and that's mm -hmm. the lie angle. Yeah. Now, in terms of how well I struck it and such like that, mm -hmm. obviously the shaft is a factor. This isn't fit for me, but. Yeah. The reality is, you were saying, you know, this is so unique, the way they do this hosel system. You're not likely to see an, um, a universal adapter no. come out for it. So you're going to be dealing with what Hanma has. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a restriction to some degree. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Very cool. Well, it's, it's an interesting club. It's fast like they claim. Yes. Uh, no question about that. It's definitely will keep up with just about everything, like we said. If it's keeping up with ping, you're in the game. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. I think if you're watching this, you're curious about Hanma drivers, you don't like the fact that those are more draw bias. Yeah. They obviously make another very, one. Very, true. Um, very true. Justin Rose uses this, which I, I find is interesting, but yeah. they do make this 455 model. It's got more of a fade biased weight here. More out in the toe, um, isn't it? We're not going to test it right now because it's right handed, but. Only comes in right um, That is just something to consider. It's not like you yeah. can't play a Hama driver if you're someone who hits a draw. You just might have to choose the other one. Definitely. Okay. Nice. Um, I think Honma is going to be a, a sort of evolving story. Uh, I think that you'll see more and more sort of demo days and. Mm. They'll be, I wonder if they will be at the PGA Show. I wonder if we'll see them down there uh, this year. You would think so. Um, yeah, I mean, they were just kind of getting going last year. And obviously, the big splash they got with Rosie winning at the Farmers was huge for them. But That's right. since then, it's been somewhat quieter. They must they uh, must be on the demo day range for sure. I would, think I, I would so. expect to see them. I saw, um, obviously, they opened their flagship store out in California recently. Just, I mean, it's gorgeous, it, everything it? they do is just, it's got some real class and elegance to it. I think they've done a phenomenal, phenomenal job with that. So, I agree. Um, I think it's nice they're, they're bringing a, a really unique brand into the general market when making it available, which is great. Absolutely. Yep. Cool. Excellent. Cool. Okay, guys, let us know if you've tried it. Uh, let us know if you've been out there and you've sampled a little bit of the, the Tour World range. We've got the irons in there, the Rose Protos. and got wedges uh, to do too. So, yeah, we, do. we actually do have the wedges to do today. One of our customers just bought the new TWX irons, mm. uh, which is kind of the competitor to P790 uh, PXG. Yep. It might be one of the best sounding irons. You think? Yeah, uh, I've ever heard. Uh, he That's was he was really really hitting them well. He was in the bay next to me the other day, and I was just just admiring the sound of the strike. So um, I think that could be a real favourite, and the shape was lovely. Okay, look really forward to seeing good. that one then yeah, for sure. Okay, stay tuned for those, and we'll see you again soon.